The topological state of DNA affects its functioning in the cell. Cells use the torsional strain of negative supercoiling to promote strand separation for processes such as DNA replication and RNA transcription. However, if DNA becomes too negatively supercoiled, the strands will separate too often, making the DNA more susceptible to degradation. The topological state of DNA is controlled by a class of enzymes called topoisomerases. Topoisomerases are divided into two broad classes, type 1 topoisomerases and type 2 topoisomerases. When you have completed this exercise, you should understand how many type 1 topoisomerases can increase the linking number of a DNA molecule by cleaving one strand of the DNA, passing the other strand through the NIC, and ligating the NIC strand. Note, this animation provides an example of the reaction pathway used by many, but not all, type 1 topoisomerases. These type 1 topoisomerases can only bind to segments of DNA in which the two strands are melted, that is, segments where the strands have separated. One of the DNA strands binds in a cleft in the type 1 topoisomerase, placing it near the active site tyrosine. The active site tyrosine becomes deprotonated, probably by a nearby basic amino acid residue. The result is a negatively charged oxyanion. The oxyanion attacks the phosphate group at the 3' position of the nearest deoxyribose, producing a DNA 3' phosphotyrosyl enzyme intermediate and a 5' hydroxyl polynucleotide. The hydrogen atom on the 5' hydroxyl is probably donated by a nearby acidic amino acid residue. After cleavage, the enzyme undergoes a large conformational change. This conformational change opens up a gap in the cleaved strand, with the enzyme bridging the gap. The uncut strand then passes through the gap, binding to a pocket in the middle of the enzyme. Binding this strand causes the topoisomerase to change conformation again, closing the gap in the nicked strand. The topoisomerase then ligates the nicked strand by reversing the cleavage reaction. Finally, the topoisomerase undergoes another conformational change, opening up and releasing the DNA. Overall, the reactions catalyzed by the type 1 topoisomerase have added one twist to the DNA, increasing the linking number by one. How well did you learn the mechanisms of the reactions catalyzed by type 1 topoisomerases? In this section, you will find out. The topological state of DNA is controlled by a class of enzymes called topoisomerases. Type 1 topoisomerases relax supercoiled DNA by increasing the linking number one step at a time. In order to increase the linking number of a DNA molecule, Many type 1 topoisomerases must first bind to a segment of DNA in which the two strands are melted. The topoisomerase then cleaves one of the two strands. Next, the type 1 topoisomerase passes the other strand through the NIC and ligates the NIC strand. Overall, the reactions catalyzed by the type 1 topoisomerase add one twist to the DNA, increasing the linking number by one. You have completed this exercise.